We are live. Yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and do another one. Uh, and this one is, because I hear people talking about this, I won't buy platinum because I won't be able to get rid of it when I want to sell it. I've never had trouble selling my platinum. Never had trouble selling palladium. I've never had trouble selling silver, and I've never had trouble selling gold. So uh, pretty much it, it's kind of how you get it. But I can tell you, people talk about LCSs. They're not a platinum type of a deal. You know, what they have, most of them, and like I said, I guess technically the, the guy I go in Louisville to go to and sell my scrap to, technically they are an LCS. Uh, but I never buy anything from them. I don't buy from LCSs. You know, it'd be cool to go meet Tim and buy something from him for the heck of it. Maybe be lucky and have Tim in there. I mean, uh, Yankee in there. And, you know, we could have uh, a fun old time. But, and I'm not saying if that's all you got, you know, you have to do it. But when you buy it from the online brokers, and that is Money Metals, Blanchard, Atmex, uh, the one Yankee uses, I never can think of. I've, I've never ordered from them. Oh, there's one of my, I've got tons of the, uh, I love these, man. These are like slick, nice, new, almost proof like. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, these are my Ikes. I've got a ton. Ikes is one of my favorites. So, because I love, uh, I love 40%. I will take 40% all day long because silver is silver. And if it gets a scare someday that you can't get a hold of it, then I put a scratch on that. I think I might, might have. Um, they're going to want that silver if it's uh, if it's even quadruple silver. They're going to want that silver. So, but I've never had trouble. Now, I've never sold my lead, my nickel, or my copper to a, um, a scrapping yard. You know, you can do that. But they will buy it, but you're not going to get as good a price for it. So what I'll do there is, is probably go on eBay or see if I can't sell it when, you know, when it's really high, see if I can't sell it there. Uh, who knows? You know, in the next couple of years, Money Metals may say, hey, we'll buy your nickel bars. You know, we don't know. You don't know the future. You don't know. You don't know if the LCS is going to be there. You don't know if the big boys are going to be there. They could go out of business. We don't know that. But I'm just saying, when I bought for Money Metals, they told me, and I bought, I think, all my platinum, almost all my platinum that's coins. Most of my coins I bought that's platinum I got from Money Metals. Uh, I got quite a bit of silver from Money Metals. I don't really buy gold coins. I don't think I've ever bought a one. I think I bought one $20 gold piece or something, I think. Oh, I bought one gold eagle, one-ounce gold eagle. From, a, from one of the online, um, I guess it was Amex. I think I bought that from Amex. So I had bought gold one time. But for the most part, I've never had a problem selling platinum, platinum, silver, even gold. There's some gold I've got that I sold online that I didn't get from them. But because I bought silver from them, they got it. Because they guarantee you, when you buy it from them, they'll buy it back from you. That's one of the promises. Now, they may not now, but when I bought it, that was a promise they made to me. Because that was back when silver was uh, mostly like $4 an ounce, three something an ounce. So, you know, $4.95 an ounce. So that, that happened. But the questions you got to ask is why not use your bullion dealers? That's the one that wants platinum, palladium, all those metals. They're bigger, they can absorb it, they got all these other things. So the people that say, I don't know, I'm scared to death. Well, your LCS probably will never buy platinum. They probably never did buy platinum. They're, they're gold, silver, copper, and that's coins, not copper bars. They might buy copper bars. You know, maybe they would. They might go copper bars. I don't know if they'd go nickel. Um, but they'll buy, you know, certain things like that. They're not into the platinum, palladium, or rhodium. It's just too big of a amount of money and scarcity and all that other stuff for them to have that in at any given time. So my theory is if they buy it at LCS, he's buying it for himself. He's not, probably not going to buy it to put it back up for sale. But I could be wrong. I wonder what Tim does. When someone comes in with with platinum, does he buy it and put it right out for sale? Or does he just sit on it? You know, I don't know. Maybe he sits on the uh, palladium. 
maybe as soon as he gets the palladium, he turns around and sells it. I don't know. But I'm just saying that's not what your LCS is for. Your LCS is for coin collectors, the things, holders that you put coins in, uh, price guides, that type of stuff is what they're going to do. You know, they're going to be the, for the collector, I think more than a stacker. And some stacking, but mostly I think for collectors. And by the way, this is another lead. What did I do with my gloves? Oh, I got more than that. Now, this one's close to four pounds. It's a different, it's uh, NF Metals out of Seattle. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to get my glove on. But it looks like this. And it is, like I said, four pounds. So, and the others were one pound. Or one pound. So, anyway, let me put that out far you can see it. There you go. There you go. So, again, I don't, I don't, I try not to touch lead. Because I don't want to forget where I'm at. And all that kind of stuff. So, that's what I want to do this video on. Because people are saying, I, I'd get in the platinum, but I'm afraid I won't be able to sell it. Well, it's, it's like this. If, if you bought something like that from an LCS, I'm sure you could very well sell it to an LCS. But mostly, I think you got to buy. Those are so scarce. I think you're going to have to buy that uh, from an online broker. And uh, so that's what I do. The only metal I've had trouble selling so far, and that was rhodium. But that was because I went to Money Metals, and they said, we'll do it, but we'd like to have buyers lined up. And there's two brothers that buy it. No, they're not named Hunt. And so they had to arrange all that. Well, I went ahead and just put it up for sale on uh, Etsy. And someone bought it off of there. So I actually probably got more for it than I would have gotten if I'd have sold it on uh, through Money Metals. But I can tell you, if you're the lowest price that's out there, because they, they're way, it's way overinflated. You think you pay... A lot for your silver on places you sell, the people sell individually. And gold, look at what you got to pay for gold, even fractional gold. Some of them want $20 on a little fractional gold coin. They want 20 or 25 plus on it. Uh, you'll sell it on Etsy or one of those. Just go on there, create an account, and just put it up there. Make sure you're the lowest price. You're still making buttload of money on it because you're still over what the spot price is, you'll sell it because there's somebody out there that will, will buy it based on the lowest price. So that's another way of getting rid of it. So there's nothing to worry about if, if an LCS doesn't want to buy it. But I, that's the only thing it took me a little longer to sell was rolling because it was so high. You know, when you get that that range, it got to 28000 And I, I believe Sal's wrong. I saw his video today. He said it peaked. It won't ever. I'm, let me tell you something. There's mainly two mines that comes out of. They've been mining it forever. That means it's going to get more and more scarce. They're eventually going to run out of rhodium. That means if you've got rhodium on hand and they run out, the sky's the limit on what you could probably get for that. Uh, I guess, and people say, well, why happens if it does run out? Well, that's a hard question because they use it for electronics to keep it from getting so hot, and they use it in, in jewelry to keep silver from tarnishing so easily. I guess they just don't use it in silver and, and silver jewelry anymore. But I think it's going to get it. We'll just see when one of these mines, the one in Russia or the one in South Africa, when it mines out, let's see what happens to the price. Because I'm predicting, I think rhodium could get to 75,000 an ounce very easily. And I'm probably the only one out there saying that, but I think you can. Because when it got to 28,000 the way it did, and for the reasons it did, I said, uh oh. He can get to 28. He can get to 75. It just, I just think that's the, the way it is. Um, so I think Sal's got that one wrong. I do think he's right on palladium. I think it's going down. It's going to probably go under a thousand, probably pretty much stay under a thousand. And then platinum is going to take its spot where uh, palladium was. And I think it'll get to three or four thousand. But um, yeah. So there's nothing to worry about on it. You know, I mean, I think that's probably gold and silver bugs are saying, oh, yeah, go ahead and buy that platinum. You won't be able to get rid of it. And I can tell you, you will. And the demand for that, I think, will go. It's already, like Sal said, it's it's already good. And it's going to get better. And so I would say definitely get into platinum. 
you know, I'm I'm just I'm no financial guy, as everybody says, but I would say get definitely get the platinum. And um, again, nothing wrong with fractional silver or gold, you know, uh, really fractional platinum. There's just nothing wrong with it. You know, the people, I don't know why people are so against it. Because if, if, let's say silver gets to 150 an ounce. Who cares what you got? This sucker is going to be worth a lot more than I paid for. It. And I'm sure I got these below spot. I don't know. Maybe I got them at spot. And uh, these are all 71 S's. So, anyway, that's what I want to do for the video. And I may do one more tonight. I don't know. Um, stay tuned. I don't know what to tell you on the mystery guest that's coming up. I think number 12. <sighs> he was supposed to get back to me to let me know what time. And we're just going to do it tomorrow. But it looks like now we're not going to be able to do it tomorrow because he didn't give me a time on it. So I'm going to have to probably put him off until Monday. And I really didn't because I've got Tilly Tuesday. And I like to have at least a day or two in between. But it's probably going to be Monday now. And so I don't know. I'm, I keep waiting for him to message me back. And I haven't heard from him. So uh, I do think it's coming up. I just don't know which day. But it can't be Tuesday because I don't want to do Tuesday in the afternoon and then come back at night and then have Tully on. So I want to give one day to one person. So we'll have to wait and see. If it, it, so probably if, it, if you don't hear anything tonight, if I don't promo it, it probably means it's going to be Monday, and then I'm hoping that I can get the time down, and then we'll get that on there. And But I'm hoping. Man, I, man, I could barely do that, that finger. That's how I messed up my hand. I could, that's why I can't play piano. My, my fingers lock up, and I can't play it. So, and uh, who was it? Somebody said, oh, somebody commented on that video I made earlier. And I was talking about Jordan. And uh, it, it's it's like this here. I'll do it real quick. Jordan is only in the top 10 in one, cat, two categories, actually. There's two top 10s he's in. The first one is steals. He's third or fourth all time. I think he's fourth. Great. Uh. That's a defensive category. That's not offensive. And the other top 10 thing he's in is missed shots. He's number seven all time in missed shots. Not, not a positive thing to be number in the top 10 in. That's why I don't think he's the greatest there ever was. Uh, there's so many reasons. Just because you can jump over five buses and dunk a ball does not make you the number one player ever to play. I'm sorry. And believe it or not, there's actually better athletes than Jordan. They just never make the NBA because probably they uh, never passed, uh, probably didn't graduate high school, and they probably never went to college. So there's kind of a, a, a thing where you at least got to graduate high school because they're not going to look at you. They're going to say, what am I going to be dealing with here? You know? So you don't. So even so, some of the best athletes never played NBA basketball or ABA. But I will say, and, and another thing, when you go back to his college career, Yes, he was on a winning team, national championship. But the man who won that for them was Jane Worthy. It was not Michael Jordan. Uh, Wor uh, Jordan did well rebounding that game. I will, I'll give you credit for that. He had a bunch of rebounds, and he helped. But the one who won the game for him was uh, uh, James Worthy. And I'm convinced that James Worthy would have stayed one more year. The North Carolina would have won back-to-back men's double A tournaments. So... He was great. Uh, Worthy was one of the best college basketball players I've ever seen. Definitely would have to be on my all starting five NBA championship player team. He would have to be probably power forward. And I'd probably would put him in there. Um, Pistol Pete Maravich would be one of them uh, at tall, at big guard. He would be my big guard. So that's two. Probably Larry Bird and Magic Johnson would be two more. And then probably Kareem would be my center. But I don't know for sure. I'd have to really look it over. Isaiah was great. But, you know, he only played two years in Indiana. And, you know, I kind of like to pick four-year players or three-year players, but he used, to have to, he used to only play three. And I'd have to go over that and really think that over. But probably those players I just mentioned were, were five of the most dominant college basketball players all time. And uh, 
that's probably who I would pick. Even though Calvert Chaney was a super great ball player. I mean, the best player at Indiana ever. Uh, probably would he would probably have to be on my second tier. So anyway, I got three 11 likes and only three watching. That got to be wrong. There's got to be more watching than they're saying. It must be watching secretly or something. But anyway, stay tuned for my mystery guest and then stay tuned for my special guest. It's coming up. I may do one more video tonight. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it might be another Bible lesson because I just thought of something that's relevant in the Bible and uh, to what some of the stuff is going on today. And if, whether you're on the right side or the wrong side. And uh, so keep stacking, keep packing because the times we live in and think about lead. Don't worry about fractional silver. It's good. It's great. It's pure. <laughs> I love it. And don't worry about selling. If you buy platinum, you're going to be able to sell it. I guarantee you, if it goes to $3,000, you will still be able to sell it. I've never had trouble selling it because I went with an online broker. You know, and if I, I bought a lot of my platinum from Money Metal, so I know they're going to they're gonna buy it back because I bought it from them. And I'll see you later.